Hey everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Divine Masculine Energy check-in. So what we're doing today is we're looking at Divine Masculine's energies real time towards his feminine. So the Queen of Light 1111 reading, we looked at what is coming in during this new moon today. But this here is the energy of what's happening right now. The energies that I channeled for the Queen of Light reading are energies that are going to be coming in through the course of today, perhaps even through this evening and tomorrow. So it'll be very interesting to see how things evolve. So this is Masculine's kind of thought process, what his experience is right now as he's going through changes. We'll also be looking at his karmic cycle and looking at what type of changes and shifts are going on in that energy. We have a lot of repetitive cards that have come out here and um, let's get started and let's not forget that my Black Friday special is still in effect through Friday midnight. So if you want to book um, my two special services, the master class, how to read tarot like a priestess and my 75 minute twin flame extended reading coaching session. Both are on sale now through Friday at midnight. So go ahead and secure those special pr uh, prices now. If you want to book any other reading coaching session or healing session, go to my website, queenoflight1111.com. Let's get started with the bottom of the deck. So masculine's overall energy towards his feminine, the fool card, five of cups, the roses, and the waterfall. So what we're really getting here for his bottom of the deck, the theme for this reading is he wants to take a leap of faith forward. He wants to start a new cycle, but there's so much regret. There's so much loss over this divine love. And he's just in this energy where he's feeling like he's very much yearning for his divine feminine and he's trying to deal with his sorrow. So if you are a feminine experiencing these random bouts of sorrow and you have nothing to be sad about, you could be picking up on your masculine's energy. So he's very much in this energy of wanting to take a leap of faith towards his divine feminine, but there's so much loss and regret that he is experiencing as related to his feminine. So his overall energy towards his feminine, three cups, right? Third party situations. He's been assessing this third party situation with, you know, the other connection that he may be in. There is a pause. He's not moving forward in that connection. And he's really assessing how that connection led to the loss and the breakup of his connection with feminine and all because of his deception. So if he's silent right now and he's not communicating with you, he's very much going through an energy of grief and analysis over what he has done, okay? So there is absolutely a reckoning that he is going through. So his overall energy towards his feminine is there's this third party situation that he's assessing. He's not only assessing that current situation and where things are with that person today, but he's also assessing how his deception led to the ending of his connection with this feminine. There is this queen of wands, second time she's come up. There's this energy of this third party, right? Queen of wands. There is a soul connection. It is a soul contract, but he's going within. He's definitely taking a break and spending time alone to really assess what he wants to do, okay? So yes, I asked about what his energy is towards his divine feminine and we're already getting that he understands that this third party situation which is also a soul connection he's seeing that his own deception about it led to the ending of the connection and now he's not only assessing the connection with his feminine but he's assessing this third party connection there is abundance there is a long-term connection that he wants to build but he's very 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 patient about it he's in this energy of harmonizing trying to find his purpose purpose and he knows he knows he needs to use his logic and his wisdom and right now is not the time to be bold and come forward towards feminine he wants to follow his heart he wants to make an offer but he knows he needs to take a closer look at 
both his connection with his karmic and the connection with his divine feminine. So real time, what we're seeing is divine masculine is absolutely in an energy of assessment. He's looking at the risks. He's looking at the rewards. He's looking at the choices he's made. And he's feeling a lot of sadness and a lot of loss as related to his divine feminine. He knows that when he chose this third party, that it triggered this energy of the end and he did it deceptively and now he's looking at this choice he's reflecting on this choice and he is experiencing loss of love the loss of his love and he's in this energy of sadness so what's the energy of the connection right now he's walking away from creating anything new right now he's walking away from collaborating either with the, the karmic or even with feminine until he figures stuff out. He knows he needs to solution his own journey. He needs to ask some questions of himself about what he wants and he needs to solve his own problems before moving forward with feminine or, you know, doing something with the karmic situation. So where is their connection headed? Masculine has been in this energy of stubbornness and rigidity and I do feel like he is seeing that he's that he's been in that energy he's been stubborn he's been closed off but where is he headed with it he's developing he wants to alchemize he wants to be in his mastery so I do feel like masculine is in a very very critical state on his journey right now where he's assessing his friendships he's assessing his connections he's assessing his twin flame relationship and he is really experiencing that this connection with his divine feminine was love was an energy of passion and enchantment that he yearns for but he needs to solve these issues of third party situations before he moves forward in love and starts to want to work together now what's his energy towards the karmic situation so i said what is the new moon going to bring in what do you need to release so the new moon is bringing in this energy to this karmic situation masculine and the karmic seeing that it is time to let go and move on there is this fear there is this uncertainty about this connection it is very very karmic this connection has risen and fallen and ended and reignited many many times and now it's time to figure out how to grow up and move out of the connection so masculine's energy towards the karmic is there is this fear there is this uncertainty about this connection this connection is karmic and he's looking for his way out he's isolated himself he's gone within remember we saw that here gone within queen of wands karmic he's going within he's going within he's taking a look at how he wants to move forward and he is seeing how trapped he is in this connection, how confined he is. Maybe she's jealous. Maybe she's, you know, possessive. Maybe she's codependent. Maybe he's codependent. And he's starting to see things very clearly about this karmic connection. So any exchange, any balance in between them has been suspended. And this is the divine's doing. This is the divine's doing. This is his blessing. And he's really in this energy of starting to understand that this connection, he sees it from a different perspective. He's starting to see things clearly. So any new beginning, any new offer, any engagement, no, it's at pause. It's happening now as he connects to his higher self. We saw in the Queen of Light reading that masculine is absolutely awakened. He's very much in the energy of connecting to his higher self. We have this card here that is also a very high vibrational card. We have the Temperance card, which is a high vibrational card. And frankly, we also have the Magician. So in his energy towards the Karmic and what this new moon is bringing in, it's bringing in, the, it's time to release. Bottom line, a uh, bottom line, bottom of the deck. I forgot to go over this. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. His higher self is bringing him answers. His twin is giving him answers. The universe is giving him answers. The answers he need are, the, what's the answer he needs, right? The answers you need are coming. Well, here's the question. What do you need to release? Well, the answer is the karmic situation. So bottom of the deck, three of swords, ace of swords, through this heartache, through this grief, through this betrayal, there is clarity. This clarity has come from 
not only this connection with the karmic, but as he connects to his higher self and there's clarity about where he wants to go, the full card. Remember, we got the full card here for Divine Feminine. So there's very much this energy that there are answers that are coming to this question about what he needs to release. There's this grief. There's the clarity. The truth is coming. The truth is coming. This new moon about where he wants to take this leap of faith. So his energy towards the karmic is we need to release this connection. There's a lot of fear, uncertainty, deception in this union. This is a karmic connection. It has risen and fallen many times and it's time to progress. It's time to move out of it. So he's in this energy of going within. He's seeking his inner guidance about how to move forward, but he feels very trapped. He wants freedom. So he's gaining some insight into how to do that. Any exchange between the two of them is at a pause. He's starting to see what his blessings are, where the abundance is, and he's becoming much more knowledgeable. So any new beginning, any offer, he's assessing that. Where do we get the seven of pentacles? Right here, he's assessing this third party situation, right? How this third party situation led to the loss of his love because of deception. And now with this third party situation, he's seeing there's any new beginning. No, I'm not doing it happening now. So he's in this energy of connecting to his higher self and he's assessing any new beginning. He's pausing. He's not doing it. So where is their connection headed? Well, it traps a new beginning, right? There is this energy of restriction, oppression, toxicity. Their new beginning is stuck. It's stuck because it's in ego. It's in pride. This is connected to an obsession in wealth of money. And so there is this energy that this connection is really starting to show or rear its ugly head. So where is it headed? Well, he's moving away from this third party situation. There's too much stress, too much anxiety, too much pressure. It's time. It's time to remove this karmic situation. Oh, look at that, number 11. It's time to get out of it. He knows that. The karmic knows that. Spirit is really helping him because he's very much aligned to his higher self. It's time to move on. Six of Swords, moving on. That's the truth. This new moon is very, very critical for this karmic situation. It's time to release. It's time to release. The cycle is over. It needs to be over. And the cycle, once it's over, then the new beginning can begin with masculine and feminine. But if the new beginning doesn't end, if this, if this cycle doesn't end, if he stays in this karmic cycle, there will be no new beginning here, period, the end. There will be no new beginning with Divine Feminine unless he closes out this karmic cycle once and for all. This is not a divine partnership. He knows it. He knows it. He knows his intuition was blocked. He knows that he fears this union. He's uncertain about this union. This union has been deceptive. It has been toxic. And there's the phone. <laughs> so if you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day.